The type of bond formed between atoms is based on their electronegativity. Remember that electronegativity describes how tightly an atom attracts electrons in a bond. Electronegativity is a unitless value that is calculated rather than measured. Electronegativity increases as you move up and to the right on the periodic table. This means that the nonmetals have the highest electronegativities and metals tend to have the lowest. The absolute value of the electronegativity between two atoms in a compound can be used to predict the type of bond that will be formed. The smallest differences represent nonpolar covalent bonds where electrons are shared equally. Intermediate differences represent polar covalent bonds with unequal sharing of electrons. Here, the shared electrons are held closer to one of the atoms in the bond. This gives the compound a partial charge on the atoms involved. And this is what classifies the compound as being polar. In bonds with the greatest difference in electronegativity, a transfer of electrons takes place, and ionic bonds are formed. These are typically formed between metals and nonmetals. If we look at the absolute value electronegativity difference between atoms in a few compounds, we can see how electronegativity can be used to predict the type of bond that will be formed. Hydrogen and hydrogen have an equal electronegativity, and so they have a difference of zero. This means they will equally share the electrons and have a nonpolar covalent bond. Hydrogen and chlorine have an electronegativity difference of 0.9. This means that they will form a polar covalent bond because there is unequal sharing of the electrons. Sodium and chlorine have an electronegativity difference of 2.1. Because of this large difference, an electron will be transferred and an ionic bond will be formed. These trends in electronegativity are generally accurate, but there are definitely exceptions. So it is best to consider both the electronegativity and the types of elements that are in the bond. Covalent bonds are formed between nonmetals. Electronegativity differences in these bonds can help to determine if the bond will be polar or nonpolar. And ionic compounds are formed between metals and nonmetals.